Let's talk about the spider cutscene from Black Myth Wukong. I know I'm late to the party, but I have thoughts. Knowing what I know about Chinese culture, I'm gonna break it down, give context into the spider demons from the original Journey to the West novel, point out some observations from the cutscene you may have missed, and also offer some of my personal predictions and theories for the game's story. This is going to be overly long and detailed, and I'm not sorry about it. No regrets. Mm -hmm. If you haven't watched my first video on Black Myth Wukong, please do. I give a lot of cultural context behind the game in that video and also explain my personal theories which serves as a foundation for this video. It's linked up top and also in the description box below. Before I jump into the actual cutscene, we gotta discuss one of my most favorite things. Backstory. It's interesting, I promise. And relevant. In the original Journey to the West novel, chapter 72 specifically, the traveling band of Sun Wukong the Monkey King, Tang San Zhang the Monk, Zhu Ba Jie the Pig, and Sha Wu Qing aka Friar Sand are continuing on their way to fetch Buddhist scriptures, when the monk notices a house in the distance and decides to go beg for food. He goes alone to the house and encounters a group of seven beautiful sisters. He asks them to spare some vegetarian food and the sisters happily invite him into their home. Once inside, the monk takes note of the on ambiance and notices the coldness in the air and soon realizes that something is wrong. Sure enough, guess what the seven sisters serve him? Human flesh. The monk is understandably alarmed and tries to explain that he cannot eat meat as it goes against his Buddhist vows. The sisters are also understandably offended by his rudeness in the face of their generosity, so they trap him inside their home called the Gossamer Cave with plans to eat him later for they weren't regular sisters at all. They were a group of zhi zhu qing, aka spider demons, who cultivated enough spiritual energy to take on human form. In Chinese folklore and mythology, consuming the flesh of a holy entity with a high level of cultivation or an item with a lot of spiritual energy can make the consumer immortal and forever young, and even grant greater spiritual powers. A few moments later. The Monkey King soon realizes that his master is in trouble and goes to invest after seeing that the culprits were seven women, Wukong didn't want to fight them because that was the gentlemanly thing to do. So instead, while the spider demons were bathing in a hot spring, the monkey king transformed into an eagle and stole all their clothes, so they were forced to stay in the water to protect their modesty. Zhu Bajie, however, being the horny pig that he is, was very excited by the seven beautiful women. He transformed himself into a catfish and swam around the ladies' naked bodies against their wishes. At this point, the women had had enough. They threw their virtue into the wind and ran out of the hot spring back into their cave and shot webs out of their belly buttons to neutralize the pervert. So the group saves the monk and they continue on their way, eventually coming to what appears to be a Taoist temple called the Yellow Flower Temple. What they don't realize is that the Taoist priest there is actually a many-eyed centipede demon in disguise and brother to the seven spider sisters. Brother in this case doesn't mean a blood relation, it's just used as an honorific for someone who is older or of higher status. He successfully poisons Tang San Zhang, Zhu Ba Jie, and Sha Wu Qing through their tea, but Wu Kong was suspicious from the get-go and was the only one who didn't drink. Wu Kong pulled 70 hairs out of his tail and used one of his magical abilities to transform them into 70 monkeys. Where have we seen this before? Yes, this scene, which I discussed in my previous video, which you watched, where we see the character using this same ability called Sheng Wai Shen Fa, or Body Beyond the Body. All the monkeys work together to slash at the spider's webs, and eventually manage to subdue all seven spider sisters, who had transformed back into their eight-legged forms. The spiders begged Wukong to spare their lives, but the monkeys wouldn't let them go. Wukong ordered them to not hit the spiders, saying that all he wanted was to make them give his master and and his brothers back. The spiders then begged the centipede to do as he said, but the centipede refused. So at this point, Wukong was, quite frankly, sick of this shit, so he used his Rui Jingu Bang, aka his iron cudgel, we see from the previous Black Myth trailer, and smashed the spiders to a pulp. And that was the end of the seven Zhi Zhu Qing. The end. Or was it? Dun, dun, dun. It seems from this latest Black Myth cutscene, one spider sister survived. So here's where it gets more interesting. It's said that the spider demons in Journey to the West are symbols of the seven human emotions. Happiness, anger, sorrow, fear, evil, desire, 
and love. Keep this in mind because it's going to be relevant later. Now going to the actual cutscene, I love narrative scenes like this. It could still use some polish, like sis, what is going on with your hair right now? But overall, the animation, the lighting, even the camera angles, I think are quite well done. It straight up looks like a scene from an Asian drama, even down to the dialogue style. I'm going to assume you've watched the cutscene already, so I just want to go through and point out a few things that stood out to me. So at the start, we see a young woman maintaining a spell with her left hand and the sound of metal chains, presumably to keep her prisoner, aka the player character, subdued. The question a lot of people have been wondering is who her prisoner actually is. Moving forward, we encounter a few more of the sisters who banter with each other and say that the groom for their mother has arrived. The female characters are dressed in the fashion of the Tang Dynasty, which was a bit over a thousand years ago and the correct time period for the events in Journey to the West. Some of these subtitles are unfortunately either inaccurate or they erase a bit of the nuance of the diction, but we see the five sisters in human form and if we include this little spider in the count, that's six. So this tells us these aren't the original seven spider sisters from the Journey to the West novel, who as I mentioned earlier, represent the seven human emotions. I'm wondering if these six spiders represent the six desires. These are related to the senses, the eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind. Numbers tend to be pretty significant in Chinese culture, and the background also has six tables, but baby sis is too tiny to need one, so maybe it's reserved for the uncle that they mention here. Perhaps the uncle is actually the many-eyed centipede demon from the book. Now this part is interesting. This spider says which translates to he's just the essence used for mother's cultivation. As I mentioned earlier, consuming something with a high level of cultivation or spiritual essence can really boost your own. So this does foreshadow the player character being eaten. So this does call back to the original novel where the seven sisters wanted to eat the monk and it also foreshadows what happens later in the cutscene. But what's most interesting to me is when we actually get to hear and see Mama Spider. She says, which literally translates to, heaven isn't the place for people to live. So this suggests to me that the groom is someone from heaven, but she is not. One of her daughters earlier in the cutscene called their location a gui di fang, which literally translates to godforsaken place. In Chinese mythology, heaven is home of the gods, buddhas, and other enlightened individuals. To reach enlightenment, you must let go of all human emotions and desires, including love. I think this surviving spider just so happens to be the one that represents love. When she walks out of her room, she is dressed in all red. In Chinese culture, brides do not wear white which is actually the color of mourning. Red is the color of good fortune, so all brides wear red. The camera starts at her feet and we see what appears to be a spider leg, so clearly she is no longer able to maintain a fully human form, which could be a sign of weakening spiritual cultivation or old age. Again, this goes back to what the spider sis was saying about the prisoner being Mama Spider's cultivation pill. Perhaps this is a side effect of the sickness her daughters mentioned previously. Love sickness? As the camera pans up, remember the eldest daughter told us not to look her mother in the eyes, but we're gonna do it anyway because no one tells us what to do. <laughs> and we see the whites of her eyes turn black. It's quite subtle, but pretty on the nose for putting the black in black mitt. Maybe it's just a visual cue to tell us she's not human, or to signal our doom. Before I go into my own predictions on the story here, I need to address a theory that's been kind of making the rounds, which proposes that Mama Spider is actually Chang'e, the goddess of the moon, and that the unseen player character and unwitting groom is Zhu Bajie, the pig character from the Journey to the West novel. What do I think about this? Uh. No. Hopefully this hasn't been confirmed by the devs anywhere because I don't want to believe this theory. I'm hoping it's a red herring. In the original story, Zhu Bajie was from heaven. Yes, he was a marshal who commanded thousands of soldiers, but his baser instincts always got the better of him. He loved to drink, loved to eat, and loved beautiful women. During a banquet where all celestial beings were invited, he saw Chang'e and was instantly mesmerized. So after having a few drinks, he tricked Chang'e into an empty 
room to seduce her. Luckily, she was able to get away and reported this to the Jade Emperor, who was the ruler of the heavens. This incident was only one of the reasons why he was turned into an ugly pig and banished to Earth. Fans who support this theory that the player characters Chu Bachia are referring to an alternate Chinese folk story where the two were actually lovers, and that once their affair was discovered, the Jade Emperor punished them both and turned one into a pig demon and the other into a spider demon. As further proof, people are citing the lower camera angle which suggests the character is shorter than the sisters we see. Plus, one of the spider ladies says he's kinda ugly and Zhu Bajie was definitely not a looker. I get that Black Myth Wukong isn't supposed to be the story we all know, but Chang'e is barely in Journey to the West to begin with and she had nothing to do with the spider sisters in the book. To change the story to one where Zhu Bajie and Chang'e were in love feels like such a reach to me. He is lazy, a glutton, a pervert, these are all very central traits to the character. To suddenly turn him into someone who was in love with one woman will make him unrecognizable and an entirely different character. I'm all for creative liberties, but I just don't buy this one. In my opinion, the most compelling adaptations and retellings and reimaginings are still fundamentally rooted in the source material. So here's what I think. There are a lot of themes around duality in Black Myth Wukong. I discussed this in my first video. The whole untold story with the entire black myth premise, servants rebelling against their masters, going against Buddhist teachings, and pursuing their own desires. Honestly, my headcanon is when the original Monkey King was killing all the spider demons, one particular sister who maybe was bleeding to death from an injury to her leg may have told him to spare her life with an impassioned plea saying that she's learned her lesson and will no longer harm others. Perhaps he acquiesced and in that moment of mercy, blossom to seed of love. I never thought I'd use the words love and spider demon in the same context, but this is probably a little too soapy to be the actual story. Straight out of a telenovela, right? So I'm gonna have to go with Occam's razor on this one. The simplest solution is almost always the best. It's a case of mistaken identity. I believe Mama Spider intended her daughter to capture the real Monkey King, but instead the daughter caught the wrong one. Obviously she wasn't alive when Journey to the West happened, so she wouldn't know for sure if the monkey that she captured was the actual Monkey King. From the dialogue, this spider sister says she had to use a lot of effort and one of her mom's precious items in order to capture the prisoner, which suggests that the being she was trying to capture is more powerful than she is. And we know the Monkey King is a hella strong. I also want to mention the song that's playing in the cutscene and the fact that it's called Jie Wang. Jie means sever or remove while Wang means web. This Jie character is the same one as in Zhu Ba Jie, which is just adding more fuel to the pig theory, but Jie in this context refers to the seven human emotions I mentioned previously. In Buddhism and a lot of Chinese fantasy stories, cutting yourself off from human emotions is the way to achieve the highest form of spiritual cultivation and enlightenment. I think Mama Spider here is the one who represents love, so Jie Wang, Sever Web, is actually a metaphor for being in love. If you're trapped in this web of love, you cannot reach enlightenment. We also know Mama Spider needs to consume the player character to restore her health. Perhaps this means she needs to eat the one she loves in order to achieve peak cultivation. Again, severing the web. Maybe the elder sister warned the player character to not disturb her while she's eating because she eats in spider form. So when she's in spider form, she may not be able to hold back her natural instincts. We hear from Mama Spider herself that she has waited for him so long in that Heaven was no place to live. In Chinese mythology, a day in heaven is like a year on earth. So after Wukong fulfilled his mission to help his master retrieve ancient scrolls and achieved enlightenment, he was back in the heavens. And she would have had to live out her days getting older while Wukong stayed more or less the same. At the end of the cutscene, we see a giant spider and this scene straight up gave me goosebumps. From the white hair on the spider, this could be Mama Spider's true form, but what's giving me pause is the voice itself sounds much younger. And I also want to note that the subtitles are a bit inaccurate here. <laughs> 
It's not an angry get out. 快走 means a hurry, run, and when used in this tone, it sounds extra urgent, like she's afraid of something and warning him, perhaps holding herself back from biting his head off. In some spider species, female arachnids eat the males after copulation. Perhaps when in her actual spider form, she is not able to hold back her baser instincts. But no matter what the actual story ends up being, I love that they chose to bless us with this cutscene. It really shows off the capabilities of the game engine and also pays homage to the source material. For me personally, I need games to have a good story. It can't just be about the gameplay or the best graphics. And judging from this one scene, it appears Black Myth is going to have that strong narrative component. I do believe we'll see at least a couple more acid drops before the game is officially released, so I'm super excited to see what's in store for us next. But in the meantime, I want to know what you think. Do you believe the Trubachia theory, or perhaps something entirely different? Let me know in the comments, and I'd be immensely grateful if you gave this video a like so that it can reach more fans of the game, and also subscribe for more videos like this.